Today's video is going to be something different. This is not my regular natural hair video or skincare video. So today's video is for small YouTubers. I'm going to be showing us how we can do our own mini DIY studio for YouTube. So the basics, you need your camera, you need good lighting and you need a very good background. So if you want to know more, keep watching. Hey guys, this is Queen Gil here. If you're new, welcome. If you are not, welcome back. <laughs> Best part about this thing, it is DIY. Do it yourself. It is not hard. It is not expensive. You're going to spend money, Sha, but not so much. <laughs> I won't lie. I got help from my brother and from my uncle doing this. First of all, you need to prepare your space. I know YouTubers use like their bedroom, it's not their bed to make their videos or by their window side. Some use a small corner in their room, you know, like an angle. And then it looks really amazing, like it looks very, very nice. It looks very aesthetically pleasing. So you can do whatever works for you. If you have space, fine. If you don't, no problem. So after I cleared up my space, the next thing I did was to make my backdrop. This is where my uncle helped me. So we used PVC poles and couplers, T couplers and elbow couplers or U couplers. I'm not a technical person, so they're not very strong. And I did not mind because I was going to be using them for just cloth, like just, just background cloth you get. So it's nothing too fancy, you know. When we were done with the backdrop stand, I hanged my cloth on it using clips. Number two camera 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 it's important we all want to make quality content so for me i use my phone to shoot this video using an iphone 7 and for me it does the job if i can get a camera fine i honestly did not think i'll be making my own like mini studio at this point because i felt like i'm still a small and all but then i get inspired by kilichi and then i get inspired by deborah bombs because and it's so funny because her inspiration is also Kilichi. I just love the both of them. I have a tripod that I use. If you don't have a tripod, just mount your phone or your camera on a stable place where you can work with it. So I have my regular tripod that I use. The tripod I'm using right now to film is just a landscape. I can't do portrait with it because that's the way it is. Um, I got this from Konga. It can do both. Um, portraits, landscape, whatever. It's very flexible and then comes with its own mini ring lights. This is the control and this is and this is the cord. This is the cord that I can use to plug it in. If you have a power bank, you can either use this or connect it to light directly. So plugging this in and this comes up. Turn it on. Yeah, this is it. I can use it for changing this color. Mm -hmm. And I use it for my Instagram videos. For lightning and for your stand, I feel it's a good investment, especially for small YouTubers. If you have come this far and you have not subscribed to my channel, please and please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you. When it came to lightning, this is where the main construction came because I wanted to do a soft box. I used a carton and an umbrella, except the umbrella is reflecting lights and then the carton is like, the, the light is facing me directly. So the items I used for that was cardboard, aluminum foil, LED bulb, most preferably LED bulb, LED bulb, um, three yards wire, the PVC poles make the stand and um, what else? Cellar tape, in case you might need it. And also cellar tape. It wasn't very tricky to make, but I also had help, so yeah. Then the next was the umbrella only. I thought it was going to be more complex, but it was actually more simpler than the box. So I basically just opened the umbrella. It's an old umbrella. I put in the aluminum foil, then 
um, we made a stand when I say we that means I had help then we just um, sellotaped the bulb to it and the umbrella handle to it um, but the one with the cardboard the gift was more technical I also have a background light for my flower just to make sure the place doesn't, doesn't look too dark because I am filming at night and I had to turn off the other lights in the room make the light more focused on me and to not get distracting light behind my backdrop so I got my cardboard I made a hole behind to pass through the wire and the lampstand or bulb because I wasn't at, the, at that point I wasn't sure if like the lampstand would come from the outside or, or I would place it on the inside you get so I did that one then I began to glue in my aluminum foil each wire was wind like at two different places behind the lamp holder then voila there was light the soft box you can use a white cloth to cover it to make the light more softened right now i am not doing that because i feel the light is not too blinding number two it's not a very big bulb like i can actually look into it it's not so big but it is bright enough for the work i need it for so i am using lens go microphone i got it from austin 7070 at say that's for abuja people banex my friend tio concept referred me to the place it works really fine that's what i am using right now for this video and if you don't have a microphone just make sure the place you're staying is not noisy it's relatively quiet so you can spice up your background with flowers and whatever thing you feel like putting behind there okay one is real one is not it you can also spice up your backdrop with fairy light or whatever to make it look nicer you can switch up the colors that is basically it do subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to my channel because I would also like to drop more content creation videos for you guys and yes I am still on with my natural hair and skincare videos so please do stay around like comment share subscribe thank you very much for watching bye